Hey there. Uh, picking up from where we left off. So uh, we were looking at cohort analysis to understand the user retention. Before we get into, uh, into that, um, I had to talk about why look at cohort level analysis at all. So um, you as a business would be doing different things at different points in time. So it becomes beneficial to look at users who are acquired in a specific time uh, period. Do they perform better or worse than users acquired before or after? Is it for the good, the changes that you did for your product, um, um, the pricing change that you might have, might have done? Is it helping or not? Uh, so I have used cohort analysis for a lot of different um, um, user understanding of that level. Uh, it also kind of highlights the seasonality and gives you, um, you know, times of periods which perform better because of seasonality, etc. Cool. Um, getting back, so we were looking at this uh, chart, which was what, okay, it was a cohort level chart uh, per user cohort. Um, what we have here is um, this one says, so this is a standard calculation. We are going to talk about different types of calculations now. Um, this one says that 1.9, almost 2% of users who were acquired during this time came back in the second week, irrespective of their activity in any other week, right? So that's what the standard calculation is. The rolling calculation, however, tells you it picks the previous period and then does the comparison. So this number here, which was 2% before, it's 0.6%. And this is because this number means of all the people who were acquired during this time, 0.6% of them were active in week two and also week one. So they look at the activity for these two weeks, which is that period and previous period. So those are the calculations. What we're currently looking at is just active users. So the value here we have from the matrix is active user, but you can look at other values. If there are some values that are not here, you can also add them. Uh, so for example, if I care about checkouts, so I can just add it to, and then I can use it here. Cool. Um, let's look at purchase revenue. So I will change this matrix and I will have the revenue now and I will look at the sum. Now the calculation, you can see that there's a cumulative calculation as well. And so if I click on this, what this basically tells me is that this cohort in their entire four week of period have given um, 6.5K in revenue to me as a complete cohort. Right. So these are the different things that you can do, uh, play with uh, segments and dimensions, use uh, device breakdown and gender breakdown, platform breakdown or whatever that is um, to give you an understanding of how well your product or service are bringing back customers to you. Uh, thanks so much for listening in. Uh, I will now be talking about other exploration methods that you can see here, which is funnel and uh, path uh, exploration. So I will see you on the other side. Bye-bye.